This is the HP Reverb VR headset and these are the controllers. Now I told you already in my review that this headset is pretty, pretty amazing. But probably you're wondering, hey, could I get this? Because I've heard that the Windows Mixed Reality Tracking is so terrible. And actually I've just recently read a review that said that these controllers or this tracking would ruin the whole experience. Now, how bad, good or terrible is the Windows Mixed Reality Controller tracking with the HP Reverb actually? This is what I'm going to find out in this video and this is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang. And if this is your first time here, and if you're just as excited about VR and AR as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. This here is the HP Reverb, HP's new Windows Mixed Reality headset. If you have not yet watched my review of this headset, please do it now. You can find it here. And well, these are the Windows Mixed Reality Controllers that come with it. And honestly, they are only mediocre as compared to the Oculus Touch or to the Valve Index Controllers. However, in this video, I'm going to find out for you how good, bad or plain terrible the tracking of these controllers is. Because if you read some reviews of this headset, it will make you feel like, hey, the tracking is so bad, you totally cannot buy this headset. However, I must tell you, when I read these reviews, I'm a bit surprised and I'm not sure, did they actually try it? because the tracking is not as bad as they make it sound. It, it seems like a disinformation campaign. It's really not so bad at all. And the good thing is here on MRTV, I really try these things when I give you reviews. And well, in this video, I'm going to show you the limitations of the tracking, but I'm also going to show you that you can actually use it in most of the games without any problem at all. So let's get into this. All right, and here we are in Rec Room. And well, I'm standing here in front of a mirror and you can see me here standing in my living room. And let's check some movement here. I'm simply going to show you that if you are in a movement, if you're moving your hands around, I don't think that you're going to have any problems at all in any of the games. Just check this out. Does this look as if the controller tracking would ruin my experience? I beg your pardon. No, not at all. Just check this out. The controller tracking is perfect here. And now doing what I would do in a first person shooter. This also works nicely. And even if the cameras are not tracking the controllers, like if you go behind your back or over your shoulder, if you're in the motion, the prediction is actually really, really well. Check this out behind my back. No problem at all if you're in the motion. Getting stuff from over my shoulder, no problem at all. But now let's talk about the limitations of the Windows Mixed Reality Controller tracking. And the limitations are if you're not moving the controllers and if you're out of the field of view of the cameras, then controller tracking will be lost. Like here at this moment in time, now it's gonna be back. And also downstairs, if you are out of it, you will lose it for a moment, but then, now it's back. So when they kind of like jump a bit, then you see you're back with the controller tracking and you, I think you've seen it really well now. On the sides as well, now controller tracking is back. So when those controllers jump a bit, then they will be back in the field of view of the cameras and then it works. So what I'm testing now is like, where is that area that's still being tracked? So now I'm, I'm showing you the area that is still being tracked. So now I'm trying out how close I can get to the headset before I would lose headset tracking. So I can get quite close actually and I'm actually touching my headset here right now and as you can tell I'm still being tracked. So it's not as bad as you would think. So if I'm super super close I would lose the tracking but tracking is back quite fast and actually I can get closer to the headset here with the HP Reverb than I could with the inside out tracking of the Oculus Quest and that is not bad at all. 
But now let's check the tracking in some actual gameplay and let's start with Beat Saber. And here we are and I'm attempting to play a game on Expert. And it works really well. Now I've been playing Beat Saber with Windows Mixed Reality Tracking since a long time on the Samsung Odyssey headsets and I never really had any problem with it. And um, well, if you're wondering, what about all these Bluetooth problems that people had? Well, since the Samsung Odyssey Plus and also here with the HP Reverb, actually you don't need your own Bluetooth dongle anymore because the Bluetooth dongle is built into the headset and yeah, that's the case here with the HP Reverb as well. So that is much better and well, it already like makes the problem of having the wrong Bluetooth dongle go away. And as you can tell here, I can play Beat Saber without any problems. Well, the only problem is that this is expert and well, I'm not really such a great expert in this game. But I'm telling you, you will not have problems with the Windows Mixed Reality Tracking and Beat Saber. So is the tracking as good as the Lighthouse tracking, for example, of Valve, of the Vive headset and of the upcoming Valve Index headset? No, the tracking is not as good as the Lighthouse tracking, for sure not, but it is really good enough for most people. I would say in 99% of all the games you won't have any problems at all. But, well, let's check this out. Let's check this out in a shooter, because I know like lots of people are wondering, hey, can I use the scopes and can I aim through the sides? And that is one, what I'm going to show you next in Pavlov. And here we are already in Pavlov. And let me show you, yes, I can aim through the sides doing this right now, even though there is no opponent here right now, but the opponent will come soon. And there he's coming. No, not yet. There, there is an opponent aiming through the sides and yeah, I think I got him there. No, not yet, <laughs> but now. And here's another opponent. Hello there. Yeah, so as you can tell, it works. It does work. You can play Pavlov and all of these first person shooters without any problem at all. And also walking around when you've not raised your weapon and your control is probably not tracking, it also works as you can tell right now. So yeah, you don't have to worry about the controller tracking when playing this kind of first person shooters. But now let's try out a bow and arrow game. Now, since Windows Mixed Reality came out in 2017, people have asked me, can I play bow and arrow games? Will that work? And always I had told them, yes, you can play bow and arrow games. It works. And now I'm showing it to you again here. This is the lab. And uh, one of the mini games in the lab is this bow and arrow game. And well, as you can tell here, there is really no problem at all playing bow and arrow games. And um, yeah, you can aim, you can you can pull the arrow back and you can shoot and it works just as you would expect. Now some ask me, hey, please, when you pull back the arrow, please pull it to your chin because that's how it works in real life. And I'm doing this now here as well, just to show it off for you. So now with pulling it to my chin, will it work? Yes, well, it didn't hit the balloon, but in general it works. And let me show it a bit further for you with this pulling it to my chin. So this is how you would pull that arrow to your face in reality. And yes, this also works with the controller tracking of the HP Reverb. And that's it. So as you've seen, the Windows Mixed Reality Controller tracking with the HP Reverb is not so bad at all. So if you before were thinking like, hey, this seems to be a great headset with great visuals, but I'm not gonna get it because the tracking seems to be so bad. Well, think again, it's not true. In most of the cases, you will be totally fine with the Windows Mixed Reality Controller tracking. 
All right, I really hope that this video was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now and click on the bell button. So don't miss any further upcoming HP Reverb and all of the other VR videos that are coming up here on this channel. That's everything that I got for you. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.